In this short video, I'm going to share with you a few of the new cool things you can do with Canva AI. And the first one is to make a presentation just by adding a text prompt. So I'm going to click the magic design button here, and then I'm going to type in five or more words up to 100. So in this case, let's say we have a journalism, a conference about journalism and AI and the future of media. And I'm going to hit return, and in a few seconds, it's going to generate a presentation deck. And I can choose, basically, which kind of style I like. And I can basically then edit the, the slides accordingly. So I can choose any of these types. I'm going to go with the one, and I can start again. Um, let me go with this one, though. It's, so it's creating my presentation. And now it's going to take a second, and then it will show me a series of slides. This is a previous one that I created. And now it's going to show me a series of slides that um, these are the slides I created earlier. And now it's going to show me the new slides. And they actually are pasted onto this existing deck since I already had a deck open. So here's the first slide. Here's the next one, introduction to the conference, the role of AI in journalism. You can see it's actually putting text in for me based on the prompt. And these, this is not text that I wrote. These are not images that I created. These are all just generated by the AI. And I can rewrite any of this if I want to. So for example, let's say I want to um, change something in here. This is telling me what AI can do for journalists, which is actually quite, quite nice um, and useful. Um, but let's say that I want to change this in some way. Um, and what I can do here is go over to the Canva Magic Assistant and I can um, see what offerings it has. Um, and I can use Magic Write to actually get some suggestions to fix things. So I'm going to ask Magic Write to um, generate a quote about the, or generate a phrase that sums up the value of AI for journalism in a catchy, rhyming way. <laughs> And let's see what it generates. And it generated this. It put it right on top of the other one. Um, unfortunately, let's see if I can pull that off. Pull that out. Um, I think I should have created a new box. Um, okay. So it says it, AI is the key to journalism's destiny. Unlocking insights with digital alchemy. So I'm going to. Uh, there we go. Space out this a little bit, and you can just start to see how um, you can use Magic Write within the magic design functionality um, to create slides and then to edit the text on those slides. So this is a starting point for a presentation. Obviously, if I were to use this, I would go in and change it. Um, I could go in and change the, 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 the layouts. I could change the, um, the templates. Um, if I click in here, um, this new layouts feature has suggested layouts. So I can actually just change. I like this design a little better. So I get suggestions for the design of a particular slide. This is a little bit like the feature in the Explore feature in Google Slides, but I think a little bit better in that the designs are a little bit cleaner and nicer. And I can do this for any of the slides. So let's say this one is one I'm not super keen on the, the style of that. I prefer the full um, size image. The text is a bit small for me. I want to see if there's another option here that's a little bit better, although I still want bigger text. So I'd probably go in and um, build upon that. Um, but in any case, you get to see the different layouts. You can also change the styles by um, changing the uh, colors to match a particular brand palette that you have or a style that you have in mind to match a, a conference color scheme or something like that. Um, and you can just play around and see what, what looks right to you. And it's a, it's a nice way to quickly improve a presentation's look and feel and to match the way you, you want it to look. A couple other things I'll show you. Um, this is the new drawing tool with, uh, within Canva. And so um, you can just pull out here um, to uh, pick your color. Pick your style, uh, if you want a highlighter, if you want a marker. Um, you can erase stuff, uh, move stuff around. And that's the, the drawing, very simple drawing palette um, within, uh, within Canva. And then you've got the text image, which is improved. So I can say, um, I can give it an example, um, like metallic colors, holographic background to create a particular kind of, of image. I can have a um, retro anime style, uh, photo style. Um, and generate an image based on based on that. I'm actually going to choose something landscape. That's a new feature, and 
it's going to give me a few different options, and then I can choose the option that I want. Um, I find it takes sometimes 15 to 20 seconds or so. Um, this is kind of a nice background, not for this particular graphic, but um, just as, a, as an example of something you could use or um, a simple kind of background type image. Um, so it's generating this through AI, and that means that you can use it in whatever way you want. You can customize it further. Um, you can also change the style of this image, make it more dreamlike, have it created again, and then uh, choose one of the options. So this is a nice way to do an, an automatic drawing like Midjourney or um, Dolly or any of the other tools that you've seen um, or may have seen. Um, these are uh, this is uh, Canva's answer to that, and I think this is uh, higher quality than it was in the earlier version that I saw. So this is a nice um, potential way to build backgrounds or just build abstract images or any kind of image just from a short text prompt. Um, finally, this is the animation um, capability that, that uh, Canva has. So it has built-in animations. You can now snap these animations to a beat, to a song. So if you, you can use the beat sync to make the changes in the, in the uh, video or animation series match the music. You can also customize an animation. So that's a, a new feature that's, um, that's pretty cool within, within Canva. So um, that's the uh, quick look at Canva and Canva AI in a nutshell and some different ways you can use it.